Greetings family and friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mama Carisilla. Ooh, got a little bit of lipstick here and there. I'm um, vlogging today. Ooh. <laughs> it is a Sunday today, Sunday afternoon. And, 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 I'm doing my beach vlog. So as you can see, it is an absolutely gorgeous beach to the ground. I've been before actually. I've well I've been lots of times. I don't actually live far from here and I've vlogged from this beach a few times before. So you must all have seen it. <laughs> so here we go. Absolutely delightful. So what I was going to what I was going to talk about today um, was the whole business of internet being rude on social media. Yeah, being rude on social media. And the reason I'm discussing it today is because <laughs> I've had a few um, incidents where People have been unspeakably rude on social media with no reason to be rude, okay? So, I don't know why people are. <laughs> I really don't know why people are rude on social media, except, of course, the person isn't standing next to them. They don't know who they are and they can actually get away with it. Because if a, if a person was standing next to you and... Um, you know, you were having an argument or a discussion, let's say a discussion with them, perhaps you'd think twice about what you were saying and the response and um, the dialogue, words, <laughs> there's flies all over the place. Uh, yes, dialogue, flies, I think it's better like this, because then you can see the sea can um, you'd think twice about stuff like that, wouldn't you? You know, you don't want to... Um, you wouldn't want a discussion with a person to really go um, downhill, deteriorate quite badly, and for people to say stuff about you, and, uh, and for, for you to exchange with other people, like horrible words, and all that sort of thing. You just wouldn't want to do it if they were standing next to you. But on social media, social media makes everybody faceless. So I don't see you and you don't see me. <laughs> and that gives me, if I were so inclined, that gives me an opportunity to be as rude as anything. You know, and make silly comments and der derogatory remarks and talk about people in a way that I probably wouldn't if they were standing next to me. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. I know one thing. When I experienced it today, the first time I just, I was polite as anything. <laughs> which, which is an achievement for me, because I usually want to answer back. <laughs> so I was polite anyway. <laughs> And I said, look, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. And if you did um, feel upset or you felt like I was being offensive, it wasn't my intention. And I left it at that. That's what I did. It's just as well. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so here we are. Because there's a massive big tree there. Back to the terrain, folks. Oh, did I block the sound? 
yeah back to the terrain it's a massive big tree over there which is really nice um, I think the scenery here is just absolutely gorgeous <laughs> I just have to learn how to do this thing properly I don't want to want it to be just my face all the time do I right so I'm gonna sit here for a bit lots of rocky it's a rocky area and the good thing about rocky areas <laughs> good thing about rocky areas is that you can sit on rocks oh. <laughs> I nearly fell over <laughs> you can sit on rocks and uh, they already made seats, so look, that's what's going down, that's what's happening over there, the sun's looking like it's about to set, it's looking like it's about to set. I love it. My pink hat. Oh! <laughs> pink hat goes with everything. Right. Okay. Here we go. People being rude on the internet. Just ignore them. Don't get involved. Uh, Or you show them another way. It's a Michael Michael Jackson Michael Jackson song and it goes, show me another way. Mm. Do you know that song? Do you know that Michael Jackson song? Together just as one. I like that song actually. That said, as soon as I get home, I'm going to turn it on. Ah, together, be well as one. <laughs> Ooh, can you show me, show me a reason? <laughs> let me show you, let me show you. It's a Michael Jackson song and it's really, really lovely. It's one of those songs that it sort of brings a deep longing feeling in my heart and it reminds me of all sorts of things, of all sorts of things, of my parents, my upbringing, my school days, my beautiful, beautiful son, everything. It's a, it's a deep, kind of emotional feel and yeah that's what it does I'm not sure why you know, of all the things that you've gone through and how you've come out on the other side and then I think of Michael Jackson's life and how talented he was and how he died so young and everything but it's a beautiful song that's all I'm trying to say so this lovely lady's See, see that lady there? That lady, that lovely lady there. She's waiting for me because she's just made me a pineapple juice, which I'm going to have. So I'm going to have to go. <laughs> anyway, all the best, folks. Please like, comment, subscribe and share. Bye.